Good morning, children. Good morning. Merry Christmas. Can Merry we still say Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I hope you and your families had a great time. Did you have fun? I had a blast. Mm. It was amazing. Really? Yeah. What was your favorite part of Christmas? Well, when I was a little kid, I would always say that presents were my favorite part of Christmas. And uh, What a surprise. <laughs> Shocker. And I would like to say that that is no longer true. But the presents are always very nice. <laughs> it's true. We, we know that Christmas isn't only about the presents. No. But because I'm your father, and because I know you well, I have prepared for this morning's lesson that Darby gets to... Open presents! Woo! I'm so excited. Okay, so let's start with... Hmm. See which one we can open here. That makes sense. How about this one? Should we let her open this one, children? Can I open it? Okay, go. Bet. It's Mary. Whoa. On the donkey. Uh-huh. And who's with her? Baby Jesus. Yeah. Wow. Little baby. So we kind of started at the end, didn't we? What's important about those three in terms of church and in terms of the Christmas story? Well... I know that Mary traveled on a donkey mm -hmm. to get to Bethlehem, um, which is where she had baby Jesus. Yeah. And um, their traveling to Bethlehem kind of started the Christmas story. Um, and Jesus' birth triggered the rest of the Christmas story. Very cool. Okay. How about another gift, kids? How about... Ooh, we got this one. Go. Oh, uh, it's stickers. I like mm -hmm. stickers. What, what are the stickers of? Uh, I see shepherds, and I see wise men, Ah. Okay. and I see a star. Got it. So what's, uh, what are the importance of the shepherds in the Christmas story? Well, the shepherds were... I got it. Oh, mm -hmm. he's stealing my Christmas These stuff. guys. These guys right there. The shepherds the were crook. so... The crook. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> the shepherds were important... Because they um, had this whole serenade from some angels mm. who came to them with their flocks by night mm -hmm. and were like, there is a baby that was born in Bethlehem and you need to go find the baby and worship the baby. So they were like, okay, let's go find baby Jesus. So all of the shepherds went and followed and went where the angels told them, Bethlehem, to find the baby Jesus. Have you ever had this happen on Christmas morning? Okay, we need to open another present. Which one? Which one is it? Uh, which one is it? This one. Let's open this present. This one? I always get this wrong. Yep. Go ahead. <clears throat> oh, it's an angel. It's an angel. Okay, so what was it? It sounds like the angels came first. So what did the angels do? What did the angels say? The angels said, uh, tonight, I can't remember exactly how sure. they said it. Tonight, just, in Bethlehem, just a baby is born. A baby is born. And they told, who'd they tell? They told the shepherds. <clears throat> These guys, right? Okay, the shepherds. Kids, do we have this right, or are we all confused? I guess we're going to have to find out. So the angels told the shepherds. And then what did the shepherds do? The shepherds went to Bethlehem. Uh-huh. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, next gift. Woo! Next Almost gift. did it again. This one. A star. A star. All right, so what did the shepherds do? The shepherds... Um, Went to, followed the, they went to Bethlehem. <laughs> and they, followed, they followed the star. They Bethlehem. followed the star. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the star led the way. Yes. Very, very cool. Yeah. Okay. And then, and so these guys, the shepherds went. And then who came after? The wise men. The wise men. The what, wise men. What was special about these guys? Well, there were a couple things that were special. The angels didn't come to the wise men. The wise men saw the star. And they just knew because they were so wise. That's ah. why we call them the wise men. That they had to follow the star. I got it. And they knew because of prophecies that had come before them that there would be a baby that was born that was going to save the world. So when they saw the star, they were like, we have to go meet the baby. But also, he's so special and important. We need to bring him gifts. So that's exactly what they did. There were three wise men, and each of them brought a gift. They brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh to the baby Jesus. Wow. They also followed the star. I think I said that already. Did you? Okay. Very <laughs> thorough and very complete, thanks. And so for our last gift, don't shake it too hard. It's very precious. This one. <clears throat> oh. It's 
pretty the small. Baby Jesus. And what's he lying in? He's lying in a manger. Baby Jesus lying in a manger. And that is what the story is all about, I think, right? Yeah. He started the whole story. And who sent us all of these gifts? God. God. God sent us Christmas presents. Pretty cool, huh? So that is the story in a very confused way from <laughs> Darby and Dane. So if you would, children, could you bow your head and pray with us? Darby, I think, is going to try to lead us in a prayer. Hopefully less confused first. <laughs> Dear Lord, like the angels, let us spread the good news. Like the star, let us show others the way. Like the shepherds, let us care for others. Like the wise men, let us share our gifts. Like Mary and Joseph, give us the courage to find our place in the church. In the newborn in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Have a great week, children. We love you. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off.